Hey guys, I'm back again for the weekly oracle reading. For those of you who are just tuning in, I'm Anne, and in this video, I'm going to give a general love reading, focusing on divine partners, and that includes soulmates, karmic connections, twin flames, twin rays, anybody that you're connected to in a romantic level, I invite you to stay tuned and watch. I'm sure there's a there's a message here for you because you landed here. Okay, so um, happy leap year to everyone. Um, it's an exciting time. I love leap year. It represents a lot of um, energies with enlightenment, with love and compassion. It's a spiritual time. It's a good day to uh, meditate and get more into you know the spiritual side of, of your, your um, emotions right now, especially now that we're coming to the close end of Mercury retrograde, you know, it should be ending slowly, but we also have a shadow phase. So we don't like to talk about that too much, but it's good to know that it's going to end. Well, I I always thought it was on the 9th, but I was corrected and someone told me it was on the 10th. So, you know, basically around that time. So March 9th, March 10th, um, you know, so just mark it on your calendar that, you know, two weeks after that. So let's wait till after, you know, like the, the post shadow phase of Mercury retrograde before you do anything new, like we talked about before. Um, so I don't want to go into that too much, but you, you got what I'm saying. So anyways, it's slowly coming into a spring season for us up up north you know i know it's it's not fast enough um but you know the weather kind of like goes teeter-totter some days it's really really hot in cleveland not hot like hot but like i i i consider 40 50 degrees in cleveland ohio in february was like enormously warm for that time of the year and you know sometimes it's just like below zero we don't i don't know why the weather is just crazy but i'm not here to talk about the weather let's talk about this reading. Okay, so Divine Masculine, We the first card that I pulled, um, Awareness. Pay attention to the sub, subtleties. Look with new eyes. There are signs and omens everywhere. And that's a very beautiful card. Okay, Divine Masculine energies right now. Having awareness. Having the sense that something is about to happen. Something is Something is rising, you know, something is coming up, kind of like what we see with our, you know, like in the ground the tulips, you know, when it comes to March, you know, we start to see, wow, things are starting to change. It's starting to turn over. We're starting to be aware of it, you know, because it's like awareness. So divine masculine now knows that there is something there for them, but they're not completely sure. Maybe they're not getting it because they're too set in their own ways. But this is where another card comes in that, that, talks about what they're what they need to do and that's declutter declutter that space that you know that that area that seems to be you know kind of like bringing yourself into a into a like a scattered motion that's that's what i call clutter because you know what when you are like in the midst of oh i need to clean all of this out i need to you know declutter and by the way i do too i i do it quite often um but this is the thing when you don't you don't realize that your life in general with not just the physical part but mentally you become cluttered you end up holding on to stuff you end up holding on to things that you shouldn't be holding on to as this card says you'll feel better and more focused if you take the time to clear away clutter from your living and workspace donate what you can to help others who may need your items be sure to keep your schedule uncluttered as well okay that's that's important right now declutter um make it so that you can feel like refreshed so to speak that that has a lot to do with you know what you're doing right now in your life and i mean don't don't look at it as well i have already cleaned or i've already done all of that that's ego and you know what there's always something that you need to let go of and i'm not talking about something that you're you're, um, you're, you're not looking at, not, not sure, you know, I'm sure you're working on yourself. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, but you know, I, I don't like to tell people what to do. I like to help them. A lot of people ask me questions afterwards, and that's why I want to just give a little bit more of a definition of what I'm talking about. When you have something that you're holding on to, let's say it's, um, it's a feeling of like a grudge over somebody. Yeah. You ha you're entitled to that. No one's telling you, you need to just let it go. But all that energy that you're holding on to, you know, like you're holding on to and you're, 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 you're pulling on a lot of heaviness upon yourself. Let it go. 
I didn't say to make friends with that person. I didn't say let go of the grudge. I just said, let go of all that energy and don't think about it. You know, put it away, you know, and just say, forget it. I'm not going to go there anymore. I'm just going to focus on what I need to focus on. Um, and that is going to help you to find what you need to do to, um, to get past it all. I'm going to come a little closer so you guys can see my cards easier. There we go. Okay. Yeah, because when you do it that way, you're going to find that your spirit, your energy is, well, decluttered. I mean, you're you're feeling more refreshed. It's kind of like when you eat clean also, you know, and I'm not going into anybody's diet. And I don't want to tell anybody what to eat and what not to do, eat. But, you know, it's always advisable to eat healthy and quit bad habits. You know, so a lot of us have it. And we don't we don't realize it are bad habits, but though it's time to start letting it go, letting it go and releasing it. You're healing, you're healing, and you are putting a lot on yourself that you don't realize because Divine Masculine right now is going through steps, um, steps that they need to take, as this card says, bless all in need of healing, hope and love, spirit grant us strength and wisdom guide us to the path of wellness. You see how beautiful that is? Yeah. You know, we all, we all need healing. We are constantly accumulating stuff. You know, just like I said, divine masculine right now is accumulating stuff, accumulating things. And you know what? That's a direct message. Whoops. Direct message. Sorry about that. My camera a little bit. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> It's, you got the message. Um, release the jealousy. That could be a lot to do with it as well. Maybe maybe it's not jealousy because you're afraid your partner is with someone or you're afraid that your partner is going to be with someone. I rephrase that. Jealousy is something that you hold on to because it's a past old wound. Um, you're not thinking too highly of yourself when it comes to jealousy. Because, yeah, we get jealous if we're not getting enough tension, if we're not getting the love, if we're, we're, we're being left out. That's, that's normal. That's normal. But if you're always looking at other people and you're wondering, is that person with um, my boyfriend or my girlfriend? And you're always, you know, like spinning your wheels in your mind. Well, you know what? That's going to show you your self-esteem or your, 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 your insecure or something needs to be needs to be brought back up because have confidence unless you've caught that person unless you've found that person then i could see it um and i'm not judging nobody because you know what jealousy is a big word and i'm a scorpio so yeah i get jealous you know the scorpios <laughs> um are very jealous but i i use it in a way where i don't i don't take it personal you know like that's why this card says jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something and the universe manifests exactly as you affirm. Let other people's successes inspire rather than frustrate you. If they don't have it, so can you. If they have it, so can you. Okay, and that's another form of jealousy. When you look at what others have and you look at what they what they what they accomplish, um, a lot of times you can say, "Why didn't I get that? Why why am I not being blessed so abundantly? Why am I not being blessed with all this money and this power and?" You know material items those things are wonderful no no i'm not saying that they're not you know and whatever you have you can you can make it feel as just as if you're a you know a billionaire you don't have to be a physical billionaire to feel like a billionaire you know that's that's the way it goes because you can't take it with you it's just material items you know what i mean so just another way to look at it that's the way i look at you know when it comes to material wealth um i look at spiritual wealth because that to me that means everything no matter what you have. Um, but anyways, when you see that, let's say that you want that, you know, I say, oh, I want that beautiful home with, with more room. I need a nicer dining room. You know, I, my house is a little small, but I love it. I'm not planning to move, but you know, if many of you watch me, um, on my, um, my, my, my Christmas holiday parties, you see how small, my living room and dining room, well, it's not really a dining room, but I combine it into a dining room because I like that energy. I love that feeling of sitting in my living room and having a delicious meal with my family. And we do it. And I love it. And I also have a recreation room. So I make the best of what I have. And I feel like I am uh, living in a, you know, like, like a beautiful mansion, you know, but a mansion is nice too. I would love to have a mansion. I'm not talking about material items, guys. I'm talking about when I see that, when I see that on someone, 
I say, wow, more power to you. That is wonderful. And if you want that, you can get that. You can manifest it. You just have to focus on it. It's what you manifest, what you focus on. That's why release the jealousy. Don't look at what others have. That's what the card was saying. But look at it as an inspiration. And, you know, like that goes for everything a car you know physical appearance you know the a lot of people a lot of a lot of people get you know envious on how a person looks and how a person appears well you can do the same thing because we are all equal we are all beautiful no matter what size you are no matter what you look like if you're male female no matter who you are we are all equal and you can have it I know a lot of times people say the grass is greener on the other side and it, and it looks like that. But you know what? Look, look at your own grass because your own grass is probably really, really, really good too. Yeah. Divine feminines, have faith. Have faith on what you want. Have faith in your heart. What you're trying to get, when you, what you want in your life, you can have it. As this card says, believe you are not alone. Spirit is right beside you. Ask for guidance and it will come. Yeah. So having faith having faith in what you want like we were talking about manifestation and you know what a lot of people have been asking me what does that mean exactly and how do i manifest you know riches and you know glory and love and light and you know all these beautiful things that you know everybody has i want it too you can have it you really can but the only way you're actually going to have it is if you start focusing on yourself and focusing on the faith you have let go of guilt number one forgive yourself forgive everything that you you're doing to yourself because you're not you're not looking at the clear picture of what what truly is there when you have faith in yourself and you have faith in god import, most importantly have faith in god god is going to carry you through it when if it's in god's will it's going to be given to you you know like i said it's all about what you want in your heart maybe it's thinking I want all those things and those things are going to make me happy. But you know what? You can have all those things. And I see this all the time. People have so much. They've, they've accomplished so much. They've accomplished so much in their career and they're still where they were at before they got all those things. So you know what happens? It's all about empowering yourself. Like we talked about with leap year and it's a good time to, you know, this is a year of of empowering yourself and doing what you want in your life it's a lucky year it's a lucky year and you know like I'm gonna read this card out because I have it in my hand to read when you allow your light to shine brightly you inspire others forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done and trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are learn and grow from your past mistakes instead of betraying yourself from them what have I been talking about guys it's true Divine feminines, love, love divine feminine energies. It's, it's a beautiful energy. Like I said, divine masculine, divine feminine lives inside of us. It's in our counterparts as well. Sometimes we lean on against one more than the other and that's okay. But when you really let go of all of that and you start focusing on what your inner truth is, you start seeing that, that glow that's inside of you. And you know what happens? You start having that faith and rebirth can happen, a new beginning something deep inside of you look how beautiful that is i love look for dragons and i'm going to read this really quick no matter what happens you can find new wings rise from the past accept the positive change that is coming okay this is you divine feminines having faith letting go of guilt and rebirth new beginnings changes it can't happen if you are looking at the past divine feminine right now is looking at the past and molding their future from based upon the past yeah you can reflect but not a good time right now with mercury retrograde um coming to a close um it's it's it can get to the point where you really start feeling the effects right now feeling that that sense of what am i doing wrong you know and blaming yourself like i said let go of the guilt i can't tell you what to do i can't tell you what the proper way to to let go of the guilt is only you can do that and you know what you know what to do actually it's your your own mind right now is maybe cluttered with with stuff like i talked about declutter let it go and this card goes from divine feminines as well it's declutter before you can see what you need to do focus on your priorities 
you see how these cards just blend in with the message and it's just like giving it to us one by one over and over and and it's and it's amazing you know i pick these cards shuffling shuffling and and concentrating on a message to come through and these are the messages that come through these are the cards where you put your focus is where you receive your outcome your priorities are calling to you which may produce a feeling of anxiety unless you give them time unless you give them the time attention they and you deserve even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more confident yeah so it can create anxiety if you're if you're putting too much pressure on yourself and you know what you're not you're not focusing you're not you're not focusing on what you truly want you know focusing on your priorities for that for that new beginning for those changes to happen when you when you start letting go and releasing and and start listening to what your inner self is telling you your higher self you know our higher self has a message all the time for us we don't listen to it you know there's the spirit there's the higher self there's the body but you know what when our higher self tells us it's it's like our our subconscious mind that that is that is connected to our internal our energy levels and we can feel what we're supposed to do we know it's our intuition you don't listen to it you're gonna get this feeling over and over I should have listened to my higher self how do you connect with your higher self well first release the clutter release the, the chatter you know release all of that stuff take a deep breath go into some nature not the weather you know should be getting really nice even if it isn't you know bundle up I love to bundle up and just go out there and just embrace the, the smell of nature um, and it will help you it will help you or maybe at first you might feel like okay what am I doing why am I doing this you know and you look around but take a good walk nature walk and, and see what happens those of you who do this on a daily basis you know what I'm talking about maybe you forget maybe we get preoccupied I know I do I give you know these messages come to me and I'm like gosh I'm I gotta listen to myself seriously so we are not perfect but we all have to hear our own guidance um, our, our spirit talk to us and when we when we listen to what our higher self says we can trust it because messages come through that's why I give these reading videos um, not to tell you what to do but actually to give messages from above to give to you it's it's relating to you in a message and to me okay because I need it too so it, it's a positive energy exchange for both of us so I hope that this reading video resonated with you there was a lot of important things that came up for me as well um you know if it didn't resonate with you that's fine you know maybe that you know somebody just forward it off to them and um you know maybe they can benefit from it also if you'd like to get your own personalized reading um, I do offer email phone chat readings um, and the, the links are down in the description area so a lot of you have been asking me you know where do I find it it's it's in my blog is it it's in any article that I have down there you'll see a link to, for that um, for that for to purchase a reading okay the, the best way I can put it and I do put these out on Instagram Facebook and um Twitter wherever I can find you know social media I will put it out so on oh, YouTube of course yeah that's where it goes also so um if you have any questions please post them down in the comments area I love to hear from you guys it's been a truly truly amazing experience um you know we're going on um I believe four years I've been doing this three or four years I don't know for sure my brain right now is I need to declutter you know what we just talked about um but anyways you know what I'm talking about it's been it's been quite a few years but it's amazing it's I love it I love it I, I believe it's three years or four years I don't know but three years three years three years yes that's it <laughs> oh gosh that's what happens when you get older okay so anyways until next time God bless you all namaste